Hello my dear students. Hope you all doing well. I'm your teacher Miss Sabrina. Our today's lesson is about verb tenses. As a reminder, a verb is a word that expresses an action or occurrence. Verb tense refers to the way a verb is formed to communicate when an action or occurrence takes place. Today we are going to discuss about simple present tense of verb. Simple present tense expresses habitual action present state or a condition, future action, general truths or facts. Habitual action uses to refer to the repeated or regular actions, and it is usually used with adverbs like always, usually, often, normally, sometimes, occasionally, seldom or rarely, never. All the time or at all time, every, most of the time, every now and then, once a while, generally, once or twice a week. Examples, the pupils pray every day. Dad always cooks the dinner. She usually goes to bed at 8 o'clock in the evening. In present simple, the verb changes only in third person singular, he, she, it, a person, a thing, where it gets the suffix s or es. The es suffix is used when the verb ends in the letters ss, sh, ch, x, or z. Exercise John always rides a bus to school every morning. Helen generally reviews her lessons in the morning. She brushes her teeth twice a day. Present state or condition. We use verb to express the present condition or state of the subject examples. The Lord hears our prayer. The weather today is cool. She belongs to the first group. Exercise. We want a new car. She lives in Philippines. They are very noisy. Future action. We use verb to express the action that is happening in the near future. Examples. The train leaves at 8.30 a.m. The plane arrives at 10 p.m. The party starts at 6 o'clock in the evening. Exercise. The party starts in few minutes. The exam finishes at 10.30 a.m. My friends arrive at 3 p.m. General truth or fact. We use verb to express the truth or fact information about the subject. Examples. God loves us all. We speak Filipino and English. The moon shines at night. Exercise. The earth goes around the sun. The sun rises in the east. The water is clear. Here is your little quiz. Now everyone put your hand on you eyes and answer my question. What are the four uses of simple present tense? Now remove your hand and check your answer. Is it correct? Why do you think knowing the simple present tense of the verb is important to us? Now again remove your hand and check your answer. Is it correct? Here is a little assessment for you try to do it without any help. Thank you kids hope you will understand today's lecture. See you soon.